Hi, I'm Michael Powers, president of NYSCOBA. As many of you are aware, there is a case currently before the United States Supreme Court that could severely impact how unions across the country operate. A ruling on behalf of the plaintiff in Fredericks versus California Teachers Association could limit NYSCOBA's ability to provide you with the benefits it currently provides. Please take a moment to watch this short video on how the case might affect you. That's a pretty impressive list of benefits. Now imagine if your union was stripped of its ability to provide all of these things for you. Pretty scary. However, what's even more frightening? It just might happen. And soon. In 1977, the U.S. Supreme Court decided unanimously in a case called Abood versus Detroit Board of Education that while employees don't have to join a union, they would have to pay an agency fee. The reason behind it? By law, unions are required to represent all employees, even non-union, and there's a cost associated with that. Those who have an issue with the fee state they don't want the representation, but as history shows, they get to enjoy many of the benefits that come along with union membership. Fast forward to the present. Right now, the U.S. Supreme Court is hearing a case called Friedrichs versus California Teachers Association. The plaintiff in the case states, she never asked to be in a union, therefore shouldn't have to pay union dues. If the California Teachers Association loses this case, the effects could trickle down to public employees unions, reducing the number of members and effectively crippling the power unions have across the country. If this happens, what does this mean for you? Many things, loss of job security, retirement uncertainty, and most importantly, you as an employee would no longer have a voice. You would no longer have any representation during contract negotiations. For those of you who have worked without a contract, you know how dangerous this can be. Despite everything I just said, there are a number of people out there in the workforce who would rather roll the dice with not just their future, but with yours. Those people are in favor of what is called right to work laws. They state, if they want to work without a union in place, why shouldn't they be allowed to do so? As of right now, there are 25 right to work states. That will change July 1st, when West Virginia becomes the 26th. Proponents feel right-to-work states attract more business and allow workers more freedoms, where in reality, the only people who benefit from right-to-work laws are the business owners who make millions and in some cases billions. They pay lower wages while making bigger profits. The numbers don't lie. Workers in right-to-work states make $1,500 less a year than those workers who are represented by a union. Overall, on the average, a union member makes at least $10,000 a year more than a non-union member. And when it comes to benefits like paid sick leave or retirement, it's not even close. If the Supreme Court rules in favor of Friedrich, it could be devastating for all public employee unions. With that being said, always remember, there is strength in numbers. And with NYSCOBA, we have 26,000 members going strong. Regardless of the Supreme Court ruling, it is vital that NYSCOBA continues to have the resources to provide you the best representation. Please continue to monitor this case as it unfolds because it's your future that's at stake.